Liam, do you take a look at the final scoreline today and wonder what might have been? I think you do, yes. Um, obviously, to go down to ten men after three or four minutes at a place like this, you know, playing against one of the top teams in the league with the players they have on the pitch, it was always going to be tough. Um, but in the first half, we coped with it really well. Uh, we were quite comfortable. Um, and a few set pieces and a few bits of open play, I think we, we, we shaded it quite well in the first half, um, although with ten men, but uh, you know, it was always going to be tough. Many people would have given you not a lot of chance with 11 men, given the respective positions of the, of the two teams. How much pride can you take in that first half display? Yeah, I said to the lads, you know, you, you, if, if somebody puts that much effort in, you know, as, a, as an individual and as a, as a unit, you haven't got a problem. You know, it, it's sadly the decisions affected uh, everything what we've done, you know, through the week and today. Uh, and now we'll never know with 11 men on the pitch. You know, I really, really fancied us to come here and get uh, and get something today. Second half, was it just a case of the, the sheer weight of it eventually told them once they'd scored one that they were comfortable? Yeah, I think so. You know, you're kind of constantly you know, thinking how you can affect, affect the game yourself and stay in the game. Um, and then, you know, like I said, they've got some good players, a couple of, uh, a couple of chances, and you, know, you find yourself 2 0 down. I think the weight of the, the pressure told in the end, although we had a couple of chances, but uh, like I said, they're a good team. And, and when you know, some decisions like today don't go your way, it, it's, you know, it makes it even harder. I mean, not seeing it again, it's difficult to comment, isn't it? But the, the decision that saw Charlie Barnett sent off, what did you make of the tackle? Uh, from my angle, it looked like a tackle. It, I didn't think it was a free kick. Um, the referee got his card out quite quickly. Um, I will have to see it again before I comment any further, to be honest. And I suppose the positive you can take from that is, is the way you rallied, changed things round, you know, square pegs in round holes a little bit and, and made chances. Yes, again, you know, from, from the previous week down at Plymouth, you know, we've had a couple of bad injuries, so we had to reshuffle and reshape today. Um, and it was the same again today. But the lads, you know, they, they do put a shift in and wherever they're asked to play, they, they do, do, do have a good go. And like I said, when you come to a place like this, it, it's always going to be tough with 11. So to find yourself uh, with 10 men and have 90 plus minutes to, to face them, it, it's always going to be tough. In the final third, are you just going through one of those spells at the moment, just where it will not go in the back of the yeah, net? Yeah, I mean, as you saw today, you know, a couple of uh, goal line clearances, it, I think it came off someone's shoulder at one point, the keeper made a couple of saves. Um, so, yeah, you've got, you've, you must say that is a bit false today because we're down to 10 men and, you know, we're trying to just keep in a couple of units um, and frustrate them, which I thought we did in the main until, until the goals. When you've put so much into a first half, what can you really say to them at, at half time when, they, when they've been on top with 10 men? Uh, well, it was obvious, you know. I thought that the manager, the, the opposing manager, had asked them to move the ball quicker and get it wide quicker, uh, and get down the sides as quick, you know, quicker than what they were doing the first half. And, and they did, and they did that. And it was important that we kept a good shape and, and shuffled across in, in our units, and uh, and we did it, you know, reasonably well um, until the goals. And then, obviously, goals affect affect everything you do. Then you you must get something out of the game. So, and the quarters a couple of times. So it's frustrating today because, like I said, after last week. I, Really, really solid, good performance last week. Um, we thought we could come into in today and get a and get a good, you know, build on that and get a good, uh, good result. Two of your deadline day signings came in today, Paul Rohubka and, and Mark Hughes. What did what did you make of the two of them? Yeah, I thought they both did very well under the circumstances. Thought Chubbs, you know, stuck to the task, you know, uh, in goal. Looked very solid, Mark as well in front of him. Um, you know, he's a good player. He's played hundreds of games, um, but like I said, it was a bit false. Affected everything we did uh, after the first couple of minutes. So. Uh, you know, although it is a tough day, you know they've worked hard. You can't really criticise too much because outside influences affect what we do.